Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope that uh, these devotionals are encouraging you and uh, just one of many tools that will you know, help you in your journey with Jesus and uh, remind you of some wonderful truths. Um, as I'm you know, pulling out little nuggets from 2 Corinthians, I just wanted to share with you this morning how important it is for us to remember this incredible work that God has done for us through his son, Jesus Christ. Uh, in verse number 17 of 2 Corinthians uh, chapter number 5, he says, Therefore, uh, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. And all this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. God making his appeal through us, and we implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. This is simply amazing that Jesus did such an incredible, perfect work by going to the cross and becoming sin for us that you and I, by entrusting ourselves to him, have been made righteous. We've all sinned. We've all come short of the glory of God. Paul says there's none righteous, no, not one. All left to our own resources, we're just sinners. But that's not all we are when we put our faith in him. We are a people who have been reconciled. We are new creatures. Think about it. Think about how transformative it will be for you and I to live each day as those who have no separation between them and God. Yes, we fail. And yes, we come up short and sometimes we miss the mark. But it isn't what we do that reconciles. It's what he did that reconciles us. And we need to remember that we are no longer sinners, but we are new creatures. The old has passed away. We've been reconciled to him and he's given us a ministry of reconciliation. As we are reconciled, we make a plea to others to be reconciled to God, to let them know this reconciliation, this love, this restoration is available to them. Why? Because God isn't counting our trespasses against us. He doesn't have a list of every way that we failed. He's not keeping a record of our wrongs. He says, I completely dealt with them. They've been nailed to the cross and you bear them no more. Like the old hymn says, that's why it's well with our soul. We've been reconciled. Will you allow him to make this plea through you? Will you accept this beautiful mission and ministry as one who has been gifted and called and appointed a minister of reconciliation, an ambassador of Christ, pleading with others to be reconciled to God? Friends, you may not feel righteous and sometimes you may not act righteous. But if you are in Christ, you are righteous. You are a new creation. This is the gift that Jesus Christ made available to humanity. 
Our only part is to entrust ourselves to him, to believe in him. To be in Christ is to have him, to receive his beautiful gift, have him come in and receive the gift of forgiveness and his indwelling life, to be in him and to know that he is in us, reconciled, forgiven, righteous. That's who we are. And now our life has a beautiful, beautiful mission. So go out there, friends, into the world, ambassadors, ambassadors of Christ with a ministry of reconciliation. You don't have to go out there and give people a thousand rules to follow in hopes that they could be better. Go out there and tell them that God so loved the world that he went to the cross and became what they were so they could receive the gift of righteousness. Oh, what a beautiful gift. Have a great day. And I hope you're encouraged. God bless.